Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this waving flag effect. Uh, this flag is waving in the wind, uh, pretty cool. And it's really, really easy here in Blender. And I'm gonna show you how to get it done uh, from scratch. Uh, so, and so let's go ahead and get started. Um, before we get started though, I'd like to show you how I got this whole scene done. Uh, and it's just like the other um, videos that I've done. Mostly, I've, I go to this website, FreePick, and I do have a, uh, a membership, but uh, most of the items are free, and you can download them for free. And so I, I look for the pictures, I download them, and then I manipulate them in Illustrator to, as to what I want. I put them in layers and then I export each layer either as a PNG or an SVG. Uh, for example, this is the, uh, the sky and the background and then the foreground. Uh, the castle um, and we've got the, uh, the bridge and the trees and so I've exported all this stuff and then brought it into Blender and then I just drew and animated the flag so that's exactly what we're going to do here uh, let me go ahead and close this up open the startup file <coughs> Here's a startup file. It's got no animation. If I hit play, it's got no animation. Uh, and so the first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and start with the flag, um, drawing it, and then applying the animation, making duplicates, and then animating the camera. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn everything off. I'm gonna turn everything off and start off with a fresh uh, canvas and I don't have a grease pencil um, object for the flag yet so let's go ahead and add one let's go ahead and add grease pencil blank uh, when you add a, a grease pencil blank object there's no um, material so let's add a material new and I do want a stroke, and I want a color, and let's make this red. Fill, include the fill. And we're going to add another material for the white, the skull. So add a material, new, no stroke, and then base color, white. Here we go. And then one more for the outline. New. And then the stroke solid line black. That's fine. All right, cool. We've got three materials, the, black, the, the red with the outline, the white, and the black. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the flag. Let's go into draw mode. We are in this new grease pencil object. And I want to draw a square for the flag and it could be any size we're gonna we're gonna size it anyways so um, I want to go ahead and uh, click on a pin and then we're going to be the radius will be at let's say 50 in the strength of one and I am going to draw with a square let's select our material which is this one and let's go ahead and draw that flag right about there. Hit return. And there's our flag. We could leave it like this, but sometimes when you have a solid color and you, and you make it wave in the wind, it looks a little weird with nothing on it. So we're going to apply some graphics to this flag. And I'm going to just start drawing. Maybe I will do a, uh, a new, a new um, layer. We'll just call this one flag. This 
this one we'll call fill and then a new one we'll call this one lines and so the lines will be I'm gonna draw with a pen tool and I'm gonna draw just the black outlines 50% uh, strength of one and I'm drawing with the mouse I'm not using my tablet on this one because it's not important it's going to be very very tiny anyways so we're just going to draw like a skull and crossbones signifying that uh, the pirates have overtaken this castle and they're flying their flag I'm gonna I may speed up the process a little bit but it's really not that big of a deal we're just gonna apply some bones I'm not too worried about the quality like I said it's going to be fairly small there's our line work uh, again I'm not too worried about the quality I'm gonna go to my fill layer grab a oops grab this material the fill and then I'm gonna grab the fill area tool or the paint bucket tool and then just start applying it to these bones boom 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 and that's it we're done uh, I would like to go to edit mode uh, select all of these except except the flag and then you can adjust it I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna move it mm, towards the center a little bit more there we go I'm done with the flag go to object mode and then I'm going to apply the uh, distortion the wind distortion it's not really called a wind distortion we're going to go to the uh, visual effects properties and the effect is called the wave distortion uh, as you can see here's a wave but we're going to do uh, this amplitude is how harsh it is the strength of it uh, and then this period is how long it is make it long or short uh, and then we're going to go horizontal because we want it to wave this way and so what I'd like to do is make it um, stronger the amplitude about 150 and the period I just want to see about three waves right now I'm seeing one two three four five six so I want to see I want to shorten it up just about there that's about two right about there one two three and so and then that's it basically the phase is where it's going where the wind is going and so we're going to be animating the phase part I'm going to click zero and then after this is done let's go ahead and turn on all of our stuff here and let's select this go ahead and name this flag and let's go ahead and place it inside our collection and let's size it let's size it to the size that we need it let's zoom in and let's place it up here we can I can hit the period on on my numpad and then it'll take me right to it I'm gonna hit scale and then I'm gonna place it right there and so let's go ahead and and add all oh, the reason you're seeing this it's because uh, I believe that this castle is moved up a little bit let's look at this I'm gonna hit three to to see my my side view and you can see that um, this castle has been moved up and the flag is left kind of behind here so I'm gonna move it to the same um, plane as the castle hit zero again 
and a render preview. There we go. And then I'm going to move it in place. And now it should be good. Let's go ahead and animate this flag. At frame one, this face is going to be at zero. So let's click the little dot to, to create a keyframe right there at the face. Let's go all the way to the end at 250 and let's um, do a negative. Remember, it's I want the wind to go to the right. So let's put negative 50 and then establish that keyframe. Let's hit play and see what happens. So you can see that the wind is going the right direction. But what I don't like is the ease in and ease out. So let's go ahead and take that out. I, I talked about this in the other video, in the, um, in the parallax video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal a new window here. And I'm going to choose the graph editor, hit the home key to zoom out, and then right click in triple eight mode, linear, so that this stays constant and we don't have that ease in and ease out. It looks like it's picking up wind, it goes really fast and then it dies down. So this way it's constant throughout. I just wanna get rid of this window for now. Let me hit uh, period on my numpad. All right, let's look at it. Uh, if I go to the beginning and hit play, there we go. I'm going to zoom out, I'm going to hit zero. And there we go, guys. The flag is waving in the wind, not a big deal. And I'm going to grab it, Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to put this here and maybe make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to hit pause and put one right there, shift D, and put one right there, and that is it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys, not a big deal. We've got the, 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 uh, the three waving flags in the wind, and it was all, when I select one of these flags, you could see the wave distortion, it's just which direction you want it, the amplitude is the strength of it, and the period is how long that wave is, and then the phase is um, the animation part. Let me hit pause. <clears throat> I've also applied it to these trees. I'm just going to turn them on. And then the other animation, the one that you saw here, the trees are also kind of waving in the wind. Uh, you can apply this wave distortion to many things like clothes, hair. Uh, comment below if you would like for me to do a video on this wave distortion on hair, where the wind is, uh, or where the hair is waving in the wind. Let me know and I can get that done for you guys, not a big deal. Hey guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.